What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys one of the most annoying gun bunch setups that will destroy every single zone coverage in Mad 22. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So, I do want to start off by saying I am in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Again, I am in the Seattle Seahawks playbook now this setup i'm about to give you you're gonna need hot route master but uh the good thing is that you don't have to have a particular bunch to actually use this setup i'm about to give you since you'll have hot route master so any gun bunch will be fine um now one thing i do want to say is that this is not my personal setup like i didn't come up with this setup i actually played somebody online who used this setup against me um i talked about it, i think it was about four videos ago and i told you guys i was going to uh take in practice mode and kind of show you what he was doing um and this is that video right here so just wanted to make sure that I just let it be known. This is not my setup normally. Everything I give you guys is my own setup. And anytime I told you guys if it's something that I didn't come up with myself, I would gladly let you guys know. And this is one of those examples. So I don't know who the originator is of this setup. I have no idea. Uh, but it was ran against me, so I just want to share with you guys. So uh, first and foremost, um, I'm probably going to uh, just mess with the personnel. So I'm going to take out Tyler Johnson just put in uh, Chris Godwin here. I might just prepare me. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's gun bunch, so I'll probably put... Uh, Scotty Miller on the outside since he's a little bit faster. And yeah, that might be all I do. Now, Chris Godwin should go somewhere, but I'm not worried about it. So anyways, uh, any gun bunch is fine. Now, the play that I like to do it out of is clear out SC. Well, clear out SC out. Now, I like doing out this because um, there's actually a way to easily bomb cover two, no matter what variant of cover two they play. Uh, so that's why I like this clear out SC out play. So if you haven't already ran this play or know about it, I'm going to kind of just quickly go over it in today's video. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to come out, and also this can also be found in um, another playbook as well. I'll link it in the description for exactly what all playbooks clear out SC out is found in. So let's go to clear out right here. So uh, for defense, what we'll do is we'll just go in a dime normal. Now I'm just going dime normal so I can actually show you guys zone and match coverage to show you that it doesn't matter. Now right here, um, actually what I am going to do actually uh, put in some garbage defensive line. So hopefully I can have a little bit of time and don't have to worry about getting instant shedded. That is the only reason I'm doing that, so you can tell everything else is fine. Now, I'll be showing you guys against, uh, I'm going to start off in cover three, and then show you guys cover two. Now, I'm going to show you how it looks versus cover four quarters, and then I'm going to show you how it looks versus cover six. Now, this works against everything other than man coverage, obviously, but if they run man, uh, Bunch has so many good setups versus man coverage, it's ridiculous. Um, and I'll probably, I don't know if you guys want to see, you know, more Bunch setups versus man, let me know, but this is more of a zone-based video as far as this video goes. So, let's go to cover three, buzz, press. Now, uh, of course, you see we do have cover three. Now, um, I'm going to spy this guy, but in what you want to do personally, you'd want to just double team, so hit L1, and then hit the down for double team. You'd want to double team that guy in the actual game uh, because you want to make sure also that you run your bunch to the wide side of the field, so that's why we are on the left hash mark. Now, uh, for the setup, this universal setup, you just want to take circle. You want to put him on a corner route. You want to take R1, put him on a streak, and then you want to take X. Now, I personally like to actually put him on a post. Um, now, you also can do a crosser if you want. That's up to you. Post or a crosser, but I recommend the post. I feel like the post going to get uh, unless you have a backside read. And you want to take square, put them on a drag route. And then lastly, you can either run it like this if they're not blitzing. Um, I mean, excuse me, if they are going to blitz, I would run it like this. Now, if they're not going to blitz, I would take triangle and put them on a flat route just like this. Or if you don't have hot route master, and let's just say you have tight end apprentice and slot apprentice or whatever, then I would just take triangle and just put them on a swing route just like this. That's how I would run it. But if you have hot run masters, go ahead and put them on the table route. It's going to be uh, work a lot better for you. Now, the key to this play is actually making sure you uh, motion snap him before he gets to the numbers. So let me show you what that looks like. So uh, we're going to motion and snap him. So notice how he didn't get to the numbers. And what's going to be able to happen is that we're going to be able to throw that kind of pass right there. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, obviously they're going to be able to click on and pick that. I promise you they will not be able to click on and pick that. Uh, they won't even get any type of animation when they click on him because somebody literally did this to me all the way down the field. And it's ridiculous how hard it is to stop that particular corner route just from a motion over. So, um, now, uh, I'm going to show you one more time. Then I'm going to show you, like, with pressing and everything like that. Because you will get different animations depending on how far out you let them go. So, again, here's the setup right here. And you want to just go ahead and take a motion and then snap. And then, uh, like I said, a lot of times what's going to happen is right there, that little window is just going to consistently be open. Now, there's a couple things your opponents can do to kind of take that away, per se. Uh, but, real quick, before I talk about that. Let's talk about this backside read. So just in case, let's say, because you guys are probably saying, well, 
like obviously their user is just gonna be you know right here at that point they're gonna go play that if I keep doing it right now that's probably what you're thinking um, which that can be true so that's why I want to show you about this backside read so a lot of times what's gonna happen is that you have a nice read between triangle and X and what's cool about this play well I say cool but what's glitchy is that that third just doesn't do anything um, as you guys were able to see in that example and I'll go and replay really quick and just show you so kind of watch this third right so what's gonna happen is that um, this normally doesn't happen where they bump into each other but what's gonna happen is that this third is normally gonna be somewhere back up in here just because that's how the program uh, they're not gonna be here he was only here because he got bumped and in the ca in case this does happen in game um, you can tell he just doesn't get any type of animation so you're gonna be able to easily throw that on the sideline and get like a little toe tap animation just like that on the sideline so you can have a front side read or a back side read, which makes the setup really, really dangerous. Now, if they're pressing, because you might be wondering, well, okay, what if they press? Now, if they're pressing and playing stock cover three, you actually can have a one play touchdown with actually R1's route, which is really, really nice. Um, so I do want to go ahead and show you that. So go ahead and motion and snap them right here. And what you're going to be able to realize is that we're going to have a, a potential one play touchdown. I think, um, okay, not right there. Um, sometimes a game that actually can get open. Um, I'm not sure exactly how, why it gets open that way, but. Uh, it definitely does so I think I want to try something else actually so let's uh, do it again now I'm gonna take X and actually put them on a cross route and then uh, do it this way and I think this way will actually get the cover three um, open if they are pressing so let me uh, make sure I don't lie to you guys so I can show it right here now I also think it's because the slot receiver is getting pressed is that it right there okay yeah so that's it right there um, so for whatever reason that slot is actually going to open up that route a lot more don't don't ask me why um, that crosser route opens it up, but let's go ahead and confirm that. So let's do a crosser route. Let's take R1, put him on a streak. Let's take circle, put him on a corner route, and then we're gonna do a uh, square on the drag. We're gonna go ahead. And, um, now this is only when they press in cover three. Is this gonna be this way? So if you notice they're playing cover three and they're pressing, go ahead and put X on a crosser instead of a post, and then go ahead and motion snap. And what's gonna happen is that we're gonna have another. Yep. So we're gonna have a one play touchdown as long as we get time. Now right there, I didn't have time. Um, but you could tell it literally got wide open. So if you want to get that open, just put them on a cross route. Uh, but if you want to have a backside read, go ahead and put them on a post, you know, if that makes sense. So uh, a couple things I wanted to tell you about too. Um, so let's just say they uh, did press. So I want to show you that one more time. Don't worry, we're going to other cover shells and everything. I know you guys are probably tired of seeing the same thing. Uh, so I just want to make sure I did just, you know, show you guys every single thing and make sure that I am doing that. So right here, uh, you can tell it's just literally just going to get wide open. Now you might be saying, real. If they play a hard flat, will that stop it? So let me kind of show you. Because sometimes you guys might think if they play a hard flat, but make it come from up top to down low, that it actually do a better job of playing it. So let me go ahead and show you that. So we'll even press two just to kind of show you the hardest read possible. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set this up right here. Boom, we're set up. Now you want to make sure you motion snap them before he gets to the numbers. That's really important. But what you're going to be able to notice is that if they play hard flat, it's going to get even more wide open because that streak is going to hold that middle third. So, well, outside third, excuse me. So, cover three is a no-go uh, whatsoever. So, cover two, you might be wondering, okay, well, what about cover two? So, let me show you cover two. So, first, I'm going to show you versus just stop without them pressing. Actually, I'll show you pressing first because most people are going to press in cover two. Now, also, keep in mind, I have zone drops on. I mean, I have zone drops off, excuse me. So, uh, everybody will be able to press if they're wanting to press. Uh, so, let me go ahead and show you that right here. Boom. All right, let me snap the boat. I actually forgot to motion them out. But if you forget to motion them out, sometimes you can actually pass lead them up top, which is why I said this play is still crazy. Um, because that corner out can still get over the top of a cloud with this particular setup, even if you forget to motion them. But don't do what I did and forget to motion them. Um, so let me go ahead and press again. Um, I'm going to set it up for you real quick. Boom, here we go. Go ahead and take a motion out. Like I said, you want to motion and snap them right before he gets to the numbers. And a lot of times, even if it's not open, what you're going to have get open too is also square on that drag route. So cover two, it's a hit or miss because I played cover two in a game mode and I still gave up that dot. So this is all Madden practice mode. Keep that in mind. Um, but if for some reason that's not getting open and they are running cover two, then you can actually uh, bomb cover two to the sideline. So uh, let me do go and show you that. So let's just say for whatever reason you can't get that route open, right? They're playing cover two. It's it's not getting open for you. So what you can do is you can actually take X, still put them on a post. You can take square, still put them on a drag, triangle on a um, flat route. You can take R1. You got to put R1 on a streak. And then from this point, you can actually motion snap this guy. So what's going to happen is that you want to motion snap at the same time. And you want to pass lead that ball outside and all the way uh, to the sideline. And then you'll be able to beat that deep half over there because that deep half will have to respect that uh, streak route, which is going to hold. It's, the reason it gets open is because it's going to hold him. Now, if they zone drop, if you could picture, uh, for one, if they zone drop this far, then just run the original setup because what's going to happen is that we'll have that sideline dot open, which I'll show you here in a second. But anyways, this streak is going to hold that safety to where he can't cheat over there. So notice how he 
uh, has to turn. Now, he only goes that way because I throw the ball right here, so notice that's the only way he's turning. But uh, you can tell we have all of this sideline to make that easy, easy throw. So, um, also, backside read. So, let's just say the user uh, is over here on this side. So, what's going to happen more than likely is if he's any good, he's going to kind of run right here, and he may actually pull up. So, this is where you're going to make that read at. So, if this is the vertical hook, which this will be the user, um, basically you want to see is he going to run with this route or is he going to come back now most users are actually going to kind of trail this route right here and then they're going to come back and actually kind of lurk right here to take this throw away and then we're still going to be able to look over the top and beat them now you probably are wondering okay well what about if they play a deep half right so i'm um, not a deep half what if they play a middle third what's, what's that going to look like so let me go ahead and show you that and like i said man this is honestly if you guys want to be honest this is why i don't run bunch because to me it seems like it's just such a it's just such a BS formation that you're able to do a lot of good things. Now, I'm actually going to back this guy up where he's supposed to be. I'm um, a pass commit as well. And I just want to show you. Actually, you know what? We're going to take it a step further. We're going to take the safety right here. We're going to move him out because some of you guys might say, okay, well, if they just move him out a couple steps, then that should take it away, right? So let me just let me kind of just show you that here. So let's go back and reset the play because you don't want to run it that way. So let's take X, put him on the post. We're going to take square, put him on a drag, triangle on a uh, flat route. And we're going to take R1, put him on a street. And then we're going to motion snap him just like that. And uh, basically, you want to drift this way in a pocket, and then you just want to throw it really hard on the sideline. Now, right there, I got I got a bad pass lead, but I'm going to do that for you one more time. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and move on, because you can still throw this ball for sure. Uh, don't think you can't throw it. So I'll show you the same kind of example. Um, make sure I spot the right person. Okay, cool. So let's take R1, put him on a streak. Let's take X, put him on a post, square on the drag, trying on the flat route. And then we're going to motion him out and then snap the ball. And then you want to kind of come over here and then you want to bullet it right there to the sideline. That's the kind of animation that you're looking for. Uh, except for we got kind of a weird little turn the back animation. But that's basically what you want to do. You want to snap the ball. You want to kind of drift in the pocket that way. And what's going to happen is that it's going to make that throw a lot easier to make. So now notice how it's still open. But when you drift out in the pocket, it's going to allow you to be able to throw this ball out here instead of throwing it like over here where they try to make us throw it the first time. So... Like I said, you can tell um, no matter what, they're going to have to give up something. So if they put a middle third playing cover two, then they're going to have to go guard this with their user. And also what's cool about this play is that uh, if you're patient, this route is going to open up as well because that cloud is going to have to back up to play that. So you always are going to have a double sided read, which makes this play really, really well. Uh, excuse me, not well, really nice. Now, quickly, uh, I know you guys probably are like, well, this doesn't need to be as long of a video, but... I don't know, man. Let me know if you guys like when I kind of go into detail about things. So basically what I want to do now is actually turn zone drops on. So let's say they put their zone drops at 20 yards, right? So first and foremost, you're going to see exactly what I was talking about. So um, regardless if they put it, their zone drops at this depth, we're still going to have pretty much everything open. So let's actually just go to cover two real quick. And then let's go to gun bunch as soon as we find it right here. Boom, gun bunch. And then let's go to uh, clear out SC. Now, first and foremost, I want to show you the original setup. So uh, let me go and show you that here. We got it set up right here. Now, if they're zone dropping in any uh, form or fashion, you're going to have this throw be able to be wide open. As right there, you can tell I accidentally hit the uh, wrong button on my controller. So let's go to clear out SE. And then let's go back to uh, Don Normal. And then let's come out and cover two. So let's go ahead and spy that guy. I'm going to go ahead and press two just to make it more, uh, more a little more realistic like you guys are going to see. Here we go right here. And then, like I said, I didn't even have to motion them, but you can tell at 20 yards, you could still kind of have that, but you also, you, you want to make sure you do motion that guy, though. <laughs> I just really just uh, got a habit of pressing X on, because uh, sometimes it gets hard using two controllers, man. And also, this is cool, because I'll be able to show you guys what happens if he has an ability. I don't know if you guys were curious about that or not, so let me make sure that guy is by. Cool. Go ahead and take him, motion him out a couple steps, and then snap the ball. And then, like I said, if they put him anything like that, then notice how we're still able to fit that ball. He doesn't get an animation or anything like that. So, very, very, very glitchy, man. Um, so, last time he's showing you, and then I'll show you the cover two uh, for the zone drop. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the match coverage, and I promise you that's going to be the video, man. Um, let me know if you guys like this style of video, like I said, because uh, I don't know if I'm making it too long, you know, so... Just let me know. Just talk to me. Talk to me. But like I said, you would think that the 20 yard would be able to play it perfectly, but you could tell it doesn't just because it's it's like a literal glitch, you know, like and it's it's really, really annoying to deal with just that particular setup. Now, um, the reason I brought you here is so let's take R1, put him on a street. Let's take X, put him on a post, triangle on a drag, square on a uh, drag route. And then let me just show you that if they zone drop, then it really does not matter. So um, you still want to do the same process. 
motion them out a couple steps and then what you'll be able to tell is that we'll still have that throw right there on the sideline we're still going to split that safety so no matter what they do they're going to give up that dot and i just really wanted to make sure i did show you guys that just in case you were like well real they could just do this or real they could just do that so that way you guys see exactly why i say what i say so let's go back to default uh, let me make sure i do have it on default okay cool so now what we're going to do is talk about match coverage and then that's going to be the video so uh yeah let me know if you guys like this style man i um I've been trying different things. Uh, I still plan on doing a lot of different things as time progress. But um, yeah, here we are. So let's talk about code four quarters. So with code four quarters is gonna be the same exact thing. So I'm gonna show you press because most people are gonna press when they play any type of match. Let's take circle, put them on the street. Um, it's circle on a corner route, R1 on the street, X on the post, triangle on a um, flat route, square on a drag route, just like this. You guys should know the setup by now. And no matter what, we're still going to have this dot open right here. Uh, you just want to make sure you throw it right at the time. And just look at that. Like, they just literally do not let them respond and react to that type of route uh, combo, which is why well, I said it's absolutely crazy. Now, I'll show you all with off coverage as well because you guys might be curious about will he cover it better if he's off. And let me just show you that it just really doesn't matter. And then also, I still want to show you the backside read. So I'm actually going to let this play develop a little bit more. Uh, you can tell Circle I could have threw that on the sideline. But I wanted to uh, come back into replay and just show you that backside read. Then we'll talk about cover six, and then that's going to be the video. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at this now. So like I was telling you guys, um, you can definitely throw this ball right here. It's going to be the same exact. I know it looks like it's covered, but it's not. I promise you, I'll, I'll, throw, you that. I'll throw you that in a second. But what I wanted to show you, too, is that this route concept right here is going to open up beautifully for this route right here, too. So no matter what, uh, we're going to have a nice uh, little route comp concept. And also, sometimes you can't have this, too, as well. Sometimes it all just depends on what they're doing. Uh, so... Let me do go ahead and show you that because you guys might have wondered if that was open or not. So let me show you. Here we go right here. Take a motion on a couple steps. Then we're going to uh, snap the ball right here. And like I said, I know it looked like it was covered, but like I said, it's I promise you it's not. It's it's crazy how the things that's on this game. <laughs> but anyways, last thing I want to talk about is cover six. Um, so with cover six, it's going to be the exact same thing. Um, so let me just show you that here. And then also, I want to show you what happens with match coverage if we put X on a cross instead of a post because it does kind of change a little bit, I'm pretty sure. So let me go ahead and take a motion out a couple steps and then snap the ball. And like I said, you can tell right there, boom, it's just you're going to have that every single time. So last thing, um, I appreciate you guys that are still here. Um, last thing I do want to show you is uh, what if we take X and put them on a crossing route instead of a post? Does that really change anything uh, for those of you guys? Cause I told you guys you could use either one of the setups. So let me just kind of show you that right here right now so basically what you're going to be able to tell is that when you put them on that crosser route that's also what glitches out match coverage as well um so i did want to make sure i, showed, I knew it was something i was going to forget so if you guys stay to the end i appreciate that so if somebody's running a lot of match coverage um i'll even show you pressing right here so what you can do is take x put them on a crosser route and you can take square put them on a drag triangle on a flat route still take circle put them on a uh, corner out and you want to streak r1 night um cover four quarters or palms is going to do the same exact thing because they're going to actually kind of get glitched out by that little crosser route and then you can tell right there i mean uh they're going to just get wide open you know like i lobbed it just because so that was just showing you guys that um now we'll show you versus cover six too because cover six is going to play the same way uh so let's go to cover six right here now the reason they play the same way is because this quarter is still on the same side as our bunch so that's why it's going to play the same way so take x put them on a cross take r1 put them on a streak take circle put them on a post uh square on the drag triangle on a uh triangle on a table route go ahead and take a motion them over a couple steps and then we're going to have another one play touchdowns you can tell just right there to our r1 route so if they're playing a lot of match coverage use that x on a crosser if they're playing a lot of zone drop slash zone coverage then take X and put them on a post. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like on it, a comment. Let me know how you like it. And like I said, I'm not the originator of this setup. I just seen it ran on me, so I wanted to give it to you guys. That's that's literally it. But anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real, and I'm out.